Hey guys, it's BD64 here, and oh my god, so much Sonic Boom! Ah! So anyways, I'll be analysing the TV show elements since the only thing about the video game trailer that can be said is that they made Metal Sonic out to be a complete badass and yet they made Shadow out to be a total pussy. Wow. Okay, so first the trailer for the TV show. So first we see Sonic and does he have dark circles under his eyes? Looks like someone's been messing out on their sleep. What's he doing here? We have a truce. Oh my god, what a fucking shocker that Eggman and Sonic have a truce. It's definitely not as if they'd done that before. Seriously? I didn't even bring any weapons! Here, check my pants! No, no, no. Well, it looks like the Eggman and Sonic shippers will be happy. Ew. Also, is Tails sleeping on the sofa here? What, doesn't he have a bed? That's kind of mean. Oh, girl, you've been looking fabulous in that pink shirt. Mm. That doesn't look very safe. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm having you do it. Eggman being a dick to Tails number one. Let's frame our statements with, when you do this, it makes me feel this. Amy's a fucking counselor now? Give me back my robot! Or what? That's a fair question. Eggman being addicted to Tails number two. So apparently Amy has a hammer that glows whenever she hits shit now. Awesome. Ah, so Sonic is asleep here. So clearly there'll be an episode of him getting no sleep for some reason and he just falls asleep on missions. That should be comedic and interesting. Whoa, whoa, hold on. What was Sonic and Amy doing just then? Hmm. Okay, so thoughts on the TV show trailer. So much hype! Oh, it sucks that this is coming out in a month until I can watch it. Yes, I know it comes out to TV over here in England until next fucking year, but there's always the internet. There was also a live reading made by the cast of small clips for different episodes, so let's move on to that. Okay, so the first episode seems to be about a translator that Tails makes. Nice to see he's still making small adventures as a hobby rather than just using them for Fire and Eggman. The comedy here seems pretty damn good. I mean, I found myself laughing at some of the lines here. I found. I think it's best if you shut that thing off. We don't want it to reveal anything too sensitive. Shut that thing off before it tells Sonic that I know. <laughs> oh, you sneaky bastards. So it looks like Amy will have a crush on Sonic and Sonic Beam. It just won't be as obvious. I know that some fans will be happy about this, but I also know that some fans were really happy to find out that Amy wouldn't be having a crush on Sonic. Ooh, sorry to those fans. Okay, so moving on to the next scene. This one is mainly just about Sonic and Eggman having a comedic battle where Eggman uses more natural items to use his weapons instead of technology. I personally find this one to be only okay. I mean, it's probably because it's a short scene compared to the others, but I don't know. This one is just kind of meh for me. Okay, moving on to the third scene. Okay, so this one's pretty interesting as Amy and Eggman seem to both have an interest in a puppy game of some kind. However, Sonic and the others don't know about this, so once they suspect something is arrived, they go and spy on Amy. Kurt looks in the window and sees Amy is setting up a game table and snacks next to it. Oh, looks like she's setting up for a date. A date? I mean, I mean that's cool, you know, what, what do I care? <laughs> There you go, Son Amy fans. By the looks of it, Son Amy will be canon Sonic Boom. What? Oh, right. You're probably expecting me to flip out and go ape shit, right? Well, that's not the case here. I may or may not have stayed before how I actually don't mind if Son Amy is canon Sonic Boom. I mean, the dynamic is different between the two. If they hook up, it won't drastically change anything. And plus, it should mean that there will be no Son Amy in the modern games. So everyone is happy. Also, I do like that Amy is still very girly in this series whilst being stronger than her modern self. Okay, now on to the final scene. Here, it seems like Amy... Wow, Amy again? Seriously, three of these scenes that are shown mainly surround Amy. Okay. As I was saying, it seems that Amy has gone into writing fanfics and writes about Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Sticks. And of course, Sonic being the lovable douche that he is, finds the fanfic first and begins reading it aloud, which encourages the others to read some of the parts out too. Twas years since I first met that mysterious stranger. The one with the fur, the color of the ocean. Sticks looks out from the page. 
Oh god, I think Amy has more of a crush on Sonic than we know in this series. Then I guess I mean fans will be happy, which I'm glad about. I mean sure, I do find myself getting annoyed by the ones that make stupid assumptions, but here they finally get what they've been waiting for for about 10 years or so. So here you go, Sonic Amy fans, enjoy. Just don't expect it to be canon in the modern games. So that was it for this video, sorry if it was longer than normal, it's just that I couldn't help it. I was so much hype for this. I will be definitely getting the Wii U game. 3DS I'm still not sure about, and I'm obviously going to be searching up the Sonic Beam episodes online as soon as they come out. Okay, so what are your thoughts on the scenes and trailers? Leave them in the comments below, and I shall see you all later. Bye-bye.